Welcome to another video. Thanks for tuning into this one. In this video, I'm going to share with you three Vanguard investments that you may consider investing into. And these investments have returned at an average 10% over the past 10 years. The goal here is a long term gain. So if you're looking for quick investments that will make you quick returns, then this is not a video for you. But if you are willing to play the long term game and let your money work for you, then this is the video for you. There are various investments out there like stocks, bonds, real estate, and alternative investments. You may think about cryptos and the likes. But this video, we're going to talk about ETFs, exchange traded funds. First of all, what are exchange traded funds? Exchange traded funds are almost like the bridge between index funds and individual stocks. So if you're looking for that diversification, but a fund that trades like a stock, that's where exchange traded funds come in. And exchange traded funds do come with expense ratio that you always have to be careful and be aware of. And I'm going to be listing all the expense ratios of these three funds that I will be talking about. And I'm also going to add a bonus that will make you a lot of money as well. As long as you play the long term game, it's very important. First ETF I will be talking about is the Vanguard Consumer Discretionary ETF with the ticker symbol VCR. It has an expense ratio of 0.1% and with an average annual return of about 12.55%. The top three holdings of this ETF are the Amazon, Tesla, Home Depot, and the list goes on. But if you are the type of person that prefers to invest in single stocks, then this may be an int for you to see the stocks that have really performed well in this ETF and maybe go buy them if you just want to hold the top three holdings. Some people play this strategy where they just focus on the top three companies of specific ETFs depending on how they want to invest. But it's just something that you should consider if that is what is suitable for you. The reason why I like the Vanguard Consumer Discretionary ETF is because this really focuses on consumer spending. So that means if the economy is doing really well, generally speaking, this ETF will perform well because companies will be reporting a lot of profit and earnings will be great. The second ETF I'll be talking about is the Dividend Appreciation ETF by Vanguard. The ticker symbol is VIG with an expense ratio of 0.06% with an average annual return of 11.07%. Top three holdings are Apple, Microsoft, and JP Morgan. If you're the type of person that likes dividends and you're looking for companies that are continually increasing their dividend payments, then this is the type of ETF you want to invest in because these companies are generally increasing their dividends over time. That is always not a guarantee, but it's something that will give you that consistent cash flow if that's what you're looking for. Now, there's always something to consider with dividend paying ETFs, and that is usually the tax implications. So depending on the accounts you're using for this investment, if it's a retirement account or a brokerage account, your tax implications could vary. So consider those before you make investments in a such ETF. The third ETF on the list is the Vanguard Growth ETF. And this ETF has a ticker symbol of VUG with an expense ratio of 0.04% with an average annual return of 15.3%. 3-4%. That's amazing, by the way. With three top audience being Microsoft, Apple, and Nvidia. I'm not surprised. Nvidia has really done so well in the past few months, and that is really reflected in these numbers. But again, that is an average annual return of around 15%. So it's done pretty well even over the course of years. Now, the importance of this ETF really is they invest in growth stocks companies within the US and these companies are generally like you already see Microsoft, Apple, Nvidia and the likes. Bonus ETF that I'm going to be talking about in this video is the Vanguard Information Technology ETF with the ticker symbol VGT, expense ratio of 0.1% and with an average annual return of 20.86%. Top three holdings are Microsoft, Apple, Nvidia just like the previous one VUG. Now why is this different? This ETF focuses on investing in large, medium, and small US information technology companies. And that means that companies like Nvidia that has done really well, or Microsoft or Apple, has really translated their profits into this type of ETF, which means that the ETF has really gone up and it's up, like I said, with an average annual return of 20.86%. Here's the question for you. Is this the type of ETF that you want to invest in? Do you like the expense ratio? How does it fit into your portfolio? And what are your long-term plans? Or do you want to do the stocks, individual stocks that I've mentioned in these companies like Apple, Nvidia, Microsoft, JP Morgan, and the likes, and just try to invest in these companies directly? Of course, you may be able to reap 
better rewards. But remember, you don't have diversification if you invest in those companies directly in comparison to when you choose ETFs like this. Like I said, I only mentioned the top three holdings of these ETFs and they do generally have a lot more companies held within them. If you found value in this video, please don't forget to drop a like, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'd love to see you in the next one. And don't forget to check out this video for more knowledge.